I'm going to go over the process of deploying a static website to Cloudflare pages. So far I've just created a Cloudflare account and I've verified the domain by changing the name servers to Punter Cloudflare. That's really easy to do and it's done during the account creation process. I've got my GitHub account which has the static site that I'm going to deploy. So to get started just log into the Cloudflare account, go to pages and then create a project. This is where we have to connect it to either GitHub or GitLab. For this one we're going to use GitHub. If you're not already logged in it'll ask you to log in but as I'm already logged in. Uh, so what we can do is we can give Cloudflare access to all of the repositories or only select ones. I'm just going to give it just the one that I need. And then install an authorize. Now that it's been authorized, you can see the repository, so we'll just click it and then begin the setup. So, for a project name, you'll want to give this, uh, well, you can give it wherever you want, but wherever you call a project, it'll give it a dot, uh, subdomain on dot pages dot dev. So I'm just going to call it Dining Room. So it's Dining Room dot pages dot dev. The production branch uh, is just the master, not the main. Uh, I've only got one branch. Framework reset. And this static site is a Hugo site, so I'm just going to select Hugo, but you can select whatever you want. By default, it gives the default commands and change them if you like, but this is just standard. Uh, you can select the root directory if that you change that and add any environment variables. I'm going to give one, which is the to select the version, so I'll just the variable name is Hugo version and then the value is if you go to the Hugo GitHub page you can go to releases and then just select the release version that you want and then just save and deploy this will integrate with GitHub now pull all of the data from the GitHub repository and then start deploying the site and success it took 2 minutes and 40 seconds to initialize the build environment, 1 second to clone the git repo, 5 seconds to build the application, and another 5 seconds to deploy to Cloudflare's global network. So we can just scroll down to the bottom, continue the project. And then now we should just be able to go to the pages.dev domain, and then it should show our site. And here's the site. The CSS is a bit messed up. That is because it's set to pull from a CDN that's not also set up at the moment. So what we can do is uh, we can add a custom domain now. So if we go to custom domains, set up a custom domain, and then just type in what we want. So we want to give it www.dannymoran.com. Activate the domain. And then that will set it up. <coughs> Just give it a refresh. And there's our custom domain. What we also want to do is give it uh, just the root domain as well. And then continue. And then activate the domain. Refresh. Now if we go back to deployments, we should be able to just click our domain and it should take us to the website. And it does, and the CSS is fixed because it's actually pulling it from the correct domain now. And that is the basics for getting a uh, Cloudflare Pages site set up.